Hello and welcome to Nana Yoga. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Nanako and I'll be a yoga teacher for today. So let's get started straight away. So this is a balancing flow class. So we're going to get onto the middle of our mat and here you're going to press your toes underneath your bum. And so you're going to toe stretch here and then you're going to bring both hands out in front of you and we're going to wiggle the wrists and do circles. So this is warming up your wrists and warming up the toes. So keep doing a few more circles clockwise. So I'm distracting you from the toe stretch by moving the wrists around and warming them up. And here we're going to go the other way, so we'll do about 10 here. And then when you're done with your 10th wrist circle, we're going to stop and then we're going to get, um, undo those, oh, we're going to stay on the toes, sorry even, and then we're going to press the palms open in front of you and close them. So open, close, open, close, open, close. So you want to really like press on the fingers as you open them and then close them up as you close so then you can really feel it in the, uh, the stretch in your fingers all the way up to your wrists so now we're going to move on to the wrists again or this is all wrists and then i'm going to press the right fingers on top of the left hand and then we're going to do that on the other side so you're going to point that hand down left hand down right hand on top about a breath here then we're going to move on to the right hand so right hand up you're going to press the fingertips up and towards your face and then exhale we're going to bring the left hand above the right hand and press the fingertips down Then we're going to just circle those wrists out. That was a lot of wrist work. And hopefully your toes feel very stretched out too. If you gave up on the toes, by the way, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. <laughs> so we're going to undo those toes. I'm going to bring both legs out in front of you and get into a Navasana boat pose. So you're going to kind of press a bit of pressure on your bum. And then here we're going to get into boat pose. So both hands underneath your knees. So you can balance a bit more, making sure your shins are nice and straight, chest open, shoulders down. One more breath here. And exhaling, putting your feet down. We're going to do that again. So we're going to inhale, feet up, balancing on the bum, boat pose, Navasana. Chest nice and open. Bit of core work here for the rest of the balancing poses. And then exhale, both feet down. So next we're going to bring ourselves onto the top of the mat and you're going to press your feet down and press the palms down. I want to get into a forward fold position. So bend the knees here and relax your head. And just in the meantime, I had to let this lovely doggy go past because I was sharing this pee with someone else. So staying where you are in forward fold. And next we're going to inhale. So you're going to bring your hands to your shins looking forward. Nice long back. Exhale back into Uttanasana, forward fold. Then we're going to inhale up, hands up towards the sky, nice and tall. And then exhale, hands back down by your side. So we're going to inhale again, hands up above you. Exhale, folding forward. Inhaling, we're going to bring the left leg behind you into a 90 degrees angle. And we're going to prepare for warrior two. So bringing both hands into a straight line on each side sort of opening the hips out, bending the front knee, the right knee, to about 90 degrees. And then one more breath here. And as you inhale, we're gonna bring the right hand up above you, palm facing down towards the floor, left hand down above the left knee. Then we're going to exhale, hands out to each side. And we're going to bring the left foot in a little bit more. 
and then we're going to get prepared for our triangle pose. So here you're going to have the hips a little bit open, nice and straight, and now we're going to press that right arm towards, towards, towards the right foot, and then you're going to bring yourself down. So it doesn't really matter if your hand goes all the way down. The feeling is as if, as if you're stuck in between two walls. So you're as kind of flat as possible in a triangle position. And then you can look up if your right, uh, your neck is okay to look up, or you can keep your neck to the middle. And then we're going to inhale, slowly coming back up. And then you're going to bring both hands out in front of you and bringing the hip forward. So right hip back a little bit, left hip forward, and then the left foot's going to come into a sort of high lunge position. And we're going to get ready for our half moon. So get into a balancing pose now. So right hand down a little bit further up, like a, about a block's length or two from your right foot. And then you're going to bring the left foot up. And if you need to, for the balancing, just make sure to focus somewhere that isn't moving. That just helps a lot. And obviously squeezing the stomach, being, uh, give, putting a little bit of pressure on the left leg. My leg's really low here, <laughs> but yours can be as low or as high as you like to. It's a half moon. We're going to stay here for a few more breaths. You can either look down, so if that makes it just a little bit better for balancing, or you can look all the way up to the top hand. And then as you exhale, we're going to get out of half moon pose. We're going to inhale back into warrior one. And then staying here for one breath in warrior one. The last breath here. Then we're going to exhale, bringing hands out in front of your heart, bringing both hands down, right leg behind you into a plank position. And then exhaling, chaturanga, bringing your body all the way down to the mat, and then inhaling up into up dog, shoulders down, bum clenched. And then exhaling, tucking the toes in, and bringing yourself into a downward facing dog. So here you can bend the knees, seeing as it's the first down dog we've done. Bringing the chest towards the mat, pressing your palms down. Next we're going to bring the left and the right leg forward all the way up to your hands. We're going to inhale, hands to shins, looking forward, halfway fold, nice long back. Then exhaling back into a forward fold. Then inhaling, bringing both hands up above you. And then exhale, hands in front of your heart. And then bringing both hands out to the side. I'm going to do that again. So inhaling, hands up towards the sky. And then exhale, we're going to fold forward, Uttanasana. Bend the knees if you need to, relax the head. And then we're going to inhale, hands to shins, straightening the legs, looking forward. Then exhale and bring the right leg behind. And bring both hands out into warrior two. So the back leg is in a 90 degree angle. I'm just going to turn around so you can actually see me. The left leg forward, right leg behind into a 90 degrees angle. Warrior two. Both hands about level from your shoulders. Shoulders down. Hips nice and open, you should feel a bit of strength in your left leg. Then we're going to inhale, left palm up towards the sky, and then down towards the floor, and then right hand up above your right knee. Then exhale, we're going to bring both hands back into warrior two. You're going to tuck that foot in a little further. I just need to put it in really really small because I've got tiny legs and then the left arm is going to be pulled towards your left leg and you're going to bring yourself into a trikonasana so a triangle pose so again it's like you're stuck in between two walls and it seems like for me personally this side I'm a bit stiffer so you can go as low as high as you need to but the point is more that your upper body is still working here you're not just dumping all your weight into the left hand so hips open Right hip a little bit more open, left hip in. 
And I'm going to inhale, bringing both hands out to the side like you're going to fly, which you are. So hands in front of your heart. We're going to get into our half moon pose. So bringing the right foot up behind you. And then here you can bring the left hand down on the mat. And then right hand up. And here you can either look forwards or look up. And the key to balancing is, of course, you have to have a lot of core strength, but also don't look at, for example, the water from the lake. Just uh, keep looking at something that's not moving or your pets or TV. <laughs> OK, and then right leg back down, finish with the pose and then inhaling both hands up above you. We're going to square the hips forward again to warrior one. Then hands to your heart. We're going to bring both hands down in front of you. And we're going to get back into a plank position. Exhaling down. Chaturanga. Inhaling up. Up dog. Squeeze the bum. Shoulders down. Tuck the toes in. And then exhale into downward facing dog. So here we're going to bend the knees. And then we're just going to bring our feet and jump them towards the hands. And then we're going to inhale into a forward fold. And exhale, staying here. So bring your both hands towards your elbows. And then we're going to inhale and we're going to bring both hands up above you. But this time we're going to get into a chair pose, Utkatasana. So you should still be able to see your feet below your knees. Bum is tucked in, core is strong. Looking forward, hands don't have to be so high, they can be a little more forward if you have any shoulder pain. It's a nice strong pose here. And then we're going to exhale, bringing both palms down. Forward fold, and then the left leg is going to come behind into a 90 degrees angle. We're going to inhale, bringing both hands out to the side, and we're going to be back in our warrior two. So I'm just going <laughs> to turn around again so I can see you guys. So from warrior two, just like earlier, right knee bent, left leg straight, left foot on 90 degrees angle. Now we're going to bring the left foot a little bit more in. And we're going to bring it forward. So hips forward. And we're going to bend the right knee and get into warrior one. And then we're going to bring both hands up above you into prayer position. Then we're going to exhale, bringing the left foot up slightly. I'm going to get into a warrior three. So here you're flying. So make sure the hips are square. My left foot's pretty low. You could have it higher if you need, but the feeling is that the left foot is pressing backwards. Staying here for a few more breaths. If you fall out, don't worry. Just try it again. And then slowly... We're going to exhale out of the position and we're going to fly that left foot. It's going to fly, fly, fly. And it's going to bring the left knee in towards your chest. If you need to readjust, feel free. And then here with the knee up above the hip, you're going to bring either the left foot up into a tree pose. So here you're going to need a bit of balancing. So here you can stay in this tree pose or here I'll just show you um, different transitions so you want to focus somewhere first where to um, the drishti gate so where to focus <laughs> you want to focus on something that's not moving just to help you with the balance but then you can bring your left foot just above the right ankle or above the calf try and avoid the knee and just bring either the foot on the calf or above the knee so above or below the knee is totally fine so if you're still in the um, yeah, the one I'm showing you now, the tree pose, then stay here. And if you fall out, don't worry. That's what balancing is all about. It's just like life, you know, you're going to have to fall out. You're going to have to do it. You're going to just learn to um, 
to take what you learn on the mat and see how you feel and take it into real life. So anyway, we're going to undo those foot and then we're going to bring ourselves into hands by your side into mountain pose and then inhale, hands up above you and then exhale, hands near your feet into a forward fold. And then right foot back into a 90 degrees angle and we're going to bring ourselves into a warrior two. I'm just going to turn around <laughs> just so I can see you guys, face you guys even. And then, okay, back into warrior two. Just make sure those hips are nice and open. Left knee is 90 degrees, not too far out or in. And I'm going to bring the left hand up, palm facing down towards your face and the right hand above your right knee. Reverse warrior. So one more breath here. As you exhale, we're going to bring ourselves back into warrior two. And then you're going to bring that right foot in a little bit. We're going to straighten out those hips. Left knee is still bent. Right knee can have a little bit of a bend, but both feet down on the mat. Hands up above you, we're going to get into warrior one. You're going to press a bit more of your energy into the left foot, bringing both palms into your heart, the prayer position. So left foot's got a bit more power in it, you're pressing down there and you're going to bring the right foot in a little bit, squaring the hips, the hips are straight. You bring the right foot up, up, up. So just make sure to find somewhere to focus on that's not moving. I had to look at the moving water. Um, that was definitely tricky. <laughs> and here you're flying. So warrior three. So hips are square. So nice and straight. And then you're pressing that right foot behind you. And if you fall out, don't worry. Just try it again. And then exhale. We're going to bring the foot down. But here, make sure to not put the foot all the way down. We're going to let it go all the way up into your knee. And this time we're going to bring both hands to the knee just to hold on to it. And next we're going to do the same again. So here, make sure to have a point to stare at that doesn't move your dristy gaze. And then we're going to bring the right foot in to a tree pose. And here, if you want to bring the foot right underneath your groin, that's fine. And then bringing both hands in front of you to a prayer position in front of your heart. And again, I'll show you just the same as we did earlier. So obviously you've got your point of focus, something that's not moving to be able to concentrate and balance. And you can bring the right hand, uh, right foot above the left ankle or the right foot just above the calf or the right foot all the way into, I like to call it the nookie, but it's um, kind of, yeah, no, yeah. So anyway, and then no knee. Don't put your foot above the knee. Just be aware of that. It's You see it a lot um, on yoga pictures, actually. <laughs> but you don't want to strain your knees. They do so much for you already. And again, in tree pose, if you fall out, don't worry. doesn't matter. So bringing that right foot down. Both palms to the side. Sort of into a mountain pose. Just take one breath here. We're going to inhale, hands up above you. And then exhale back into a chair pose. So hands up above you, lower down if your shoulders hurt. You're going to bring the butt down, but pressing your core in and your knees are going to bend, 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 bend. And you're going to come down, bring your bum down up above the mat. And you're going to bring both knees in. So now we're done with the standing positions. We're going to wind down. So you bring the left hand above the right knee. I'm going to do a twist. So both knees are going to come down onto the mat. And then right hand open. And then looking towards the right. It's a nice spinal twist here. Just like I mentioned earlier, I like the balancing poses because um, you can take that, what you're learning on the mat, what you do off the mat. And both knees in towards your chest, right hand up above the left knee, bringing both knees down towards the mat, and then left hand out, looking towards the left. 
staying here for one more breath. You know, when life we we do need to transition and balance and move because things the one thing that is certain is change. So bringing both knees in towards your chest. Quick hip wiggle here, little back massage. And then final pose, my favorite pose, we're gonna get into Shavasana. So bringing both feet down onto the floor, both palms facing up. And let your shoulders relax and let your whole body relax. You don't need to do anything here, but just relax. Something that's both quite difficult but looks so simple at the same time. So we're going to do about two more breaths here. If you'd like to stay in Shavasana for longer, please feel free to do so. Do 10 or 20 more breaths. But here we're going to bring both knees in towards our chest and finish up. Give yourself a hug. Thank you, body, for balancing and letting me do yoga. And bring yourself into a comfortable seated position. And I'm going to bring both hands out to the side, breathing in as your hands come up towards the sky. Hands in in front of your heart in a prayer position. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you again next time. Thank you.